Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limited Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to send a tweet from your application. Now already, I have a example of what we're going to be creating today in the iPhone simulator here. It'll be a simple round rack button and once we hit it, our Twitter function loads up and the form here to send a tweet, we can add our message in we can cancel it and send our tweet. So I'm going to show you how to create this today using the Twitter framework. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it sending a tweet for the purpose of this tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is add our Twitter framework. And to do that we go to build phases and then drop down the link binary with libraries press the little plus symbol and just simply search Twitter and you'll find the framework here so simply add that and you'll see it loaded to your project up here so now once you've added the framework we can go ahead now and start doing all the code and the interface so if we go to our viewcontroller.h and just under the import we do hash import and then we do Twitter slash twitter dot h just to tell our classes that we'll be using the twitter framework and just after the UI view controller we do a open bracket and press enter now just under the second curly bracket at the bottom we do dash bracket ib action bracket and simply name the button send a tweet very simple there and then that with a semicolon and then once you've done that we can save that and then jump straight into our viewcontroller.m and just after the at implementation view controller press enter a few times there only so you can see clearly what I'm typing out in the code but we do dash bracket ib action bracket and we named it named it save send a tweet sorry we do space, play bracket and press enter. Now we set up our button here, now we need to add the action to send a tweet. So what we do is TWT, all in capitals, tweet, compose a view controller, space, asterisk, and I'll give it a quick name of tweet, space, equals, space, bracket, bracket, and again, TWT, Tweet compose view controller and then we do space alloc and then just after the first bracket we do space init and after the second bracket we do a semicolon and then hit enter we then do bracket tweet space set initial text so the here and there will be the text that will already be displayed in the message as soon as you hit the button. Whereas just as in the um, simulator it said um, Twitter message goes here. We do at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark. Now if you don't want no text to be displayed in it already, we'll just simply leave it blank in between the two quotation marks. But if you want some preset text already there, we'll simply put geeky lemon. Twitter tutorial and after that we end it with a bracket in a semicolon and we do enter and we do cell bracket self present module view controller and in the first highlighted section we do tweet and in the animated here we do yes and then that with a bracket and a semicolon so we can simply save that now and jump straight into our view controller.xib and just like in the simulator here, we'll add a button at the bottom. We'll space it out so it fits the whole width of the, or almost the whole width, nice and big. And we'll simply give the button some text. So send a tweet. Once we've done that, we click on our files owner. And then we link up our connection for our action. So it's send a tweet, drag it down to our button. And we can do something simple like touch down or touch up inside. We do touch up inside, so it gives you the option to drag your finger off if you don't want to send the tweet. And once you've done that, we can go to build and run in the simulator. 
and we'll show you what we have created now. Okay then, so now once it's loaded up in the simulator, you can see we have our button at the bottom. And then once we hit it, our Twitter form fills up here. And just like in our set text here, we did Geek Lemon Twitter Tutorial. So we have the option to cancel it, or we can go to send a tweet. We can even change the text here, so we can put Geek Lemon is creating the new tutorial. And if we press send, it should be linked up to your Twitter account. So if you haven't done that already, just go into the settings in your simulator and add your Twitter account. But so if we go to Twitter now and I'll just refresh the page. And there we go, if you can see just here at the top, Geek Lemon is creating the new tutorial. So as you can see, the um, sends it straight away, there's no hanging about. So so it's just that simple. You can add this in any of your apps and projects to post or let your users post their like game score to Twitter or even any features in the app or just let them freely post and update their status all from your single app. So the possibilities with uh, sending tweets are really endless. So it's that simple to do and I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you go check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Just simply search Geeky Lemon or click in the links below. And make sure you go check out our website with all our tutorials and don't forget to like, favourite, subscribe and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.